Hello and welcome to episode 8 when graphs attack. One of your key skills here is actually using your brain to make a sensible graph because Excel will graph pretty much any old bunch of numbers you throw at it but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's sensible. You need to use some judgment too. I'm going to give you an example of this. I'm going to graph all three of those columns together. In fact I'm going to graph all four of them. You know, let's go the whole hog. Let's see what its recommended chart is. Oh, there you go. So that's fine. Let's go with that. Now, you know what? We've made a graph, and but the problem is because the um, amount of money that these films made, that just the raw numbers is so much bigger than everything else, it doesn't. Re it's really hard to read those in comparison to each other, and some of these things just don't mean anything. So order in the Star Wars universe, first of all, it's tiny because we're comparing one through to eight with eight hundred. So just graphing them on the same scale. So that's an example of a graph you can make. It just doesn't tell you anything, and the point of a graph is to tell a story. So in the last episode, I graphed the running time. So I'm actually going to take the running time out of this by hiding that column. Now what I could do is I could just ma um, graph the money that these things cost to make, the budget, versus how much they made. But unfortunately, just through the nature of the movie business, nothing to do with Excel, that's not going to be a very good graph either. So, even if we have it upright, what I can see for sure is that these things made a lot more money than they cost. They cost, you know, a few million and they made a stack of money. Um, so that's not really terribly useful, unless that's the point I wanted to make, because in truth not many films do that. But if I wanted to have something different, I would need to make the graph differently. So, actually, you know what, that turned out to be a more interesting graph than I thought it would. So I guess it's budget, if I put a title on it, it would be Star Wars Films. There you go, help if I could type. Star Wars Films, um, colon, budget, and box office. And you know what, I'd be pretty happy with that if I was investing in a Star Wars film, it's pretty clear to me. And I could even make a um, formula in here that it would actually work out the ratio, but we'll save that for another day, shall we? So I'm just going to close that over on the side, shrink that down. I'm actually going to keep that graph. I'm not as annoyed with it as I thought I would be. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. So I grab the graph, I move it over here. You can have multiple graphs sitting out there. I actually think that a better way to do this is to make two graphs. So I'm going to make this, um, this graph here, which is of the movies and their budgets. So I'll just go insert... Let's go to recommended charts again. Yeah, that's fine. Um, let's format this one. Yeah, I think that'll do. Nice and Star Wars-y. So there's our budgets. And, and as you can see, unsurprisingly, every time they make a film, they spend a lot more money on it. But interestingly, actually, if you go back and look, A New Hope is was cheap. A little bit more, a little bit more. The middle three films, the ones that people generally hate, were actually made for about the same amount of money. And the more recent one, made you know, a decade later, is actually, um, you know, really, it costs about twice as much. And then I'm going to hide the budget thing. Remember, I'm hiding these, not deleting them. And now I'm going to delete the, um, the box office tape. Not delete the box office tape, I'm going to graph it. And I'm actually going to go straight for these shortcuts here because I know what it is that I want. And in fact, that's what I want. So there we go. I can now put these graphs side by side. Oh, that one's gone blank. I wonder why that one's gone blank. Isn't that interesting? So I'll come back to that in a minute. But what I hope to be able to see here is I hope to be able to see there's the box office. And as you can see, um, The Force Awakens has by far most the, made the most money. Um, but how the box office is. So you can graph different things, and sometimes it's a good idea to put your graphs side by side. I'm not sure what went wrong there. That's something interesting for me to look into. All right, so that's enough for that, and um, I'll see if I can think of an episode whatever's next.